Hi, it's Ann from the Useless Crafter. All right, so we're gonna do Cinderella today and we're gonna make her really, really big. You know, I do most of my characters at 30 inches, but I recently just did um, Toddler Snow White at 48 inches. And so I wanna do two more characters at 48 inches, which is four feet. It is the same, I mean, she's, she's a little bit taller than my five and a half year old. So you can just imagine how big it is next to these kids, right? Same size. Um, it's great for party decor. It does make it a little bit more difficult to make it seamless or seamless looking. Um, so with this Cinderella, I just want to show you really quickly. Um, I made the, I mean, I guess they were teenagers, right? I was going to say the adult version of Cinderella, but I made this almost a year ago. So we're going to keep the same color scheme. Like I want to do this dark blue glitter, light blue, and then they're her hair. Okay. So let's get started i'm gonna make myself smaller <laughs> that was a little scary okay so um first thing that you do is we're going to go to the height and we're just you want to make sure it's locked because you want it to change proportionately the width and the height so we're going to change the height to 48 inches and it's going to be big and let's make this as zoom in as or zoom out zoom in zoom out <laughs> Zoom out, yeah, um, as much as we can to 25% so that we don't have to scroll as much. Now, a couple of things that I want to point out when we're looking at this. Um, I think the knowing how I did Snow White, I think the dress is going to be an issue. So just kind of think about um, right away in my head because we're using the dark blue. It's going to be way darker. I think I'm going to try to maybe cut maybe here where we won't notice the seams as much, but do two cuts. Instead of going down the middle with one straight line, I think that's probably gonna be a little bit more distracting than maybe two little cuts on the side, okay? I think her legs will be fine. What I like about these toddler versions is that everything is broken up, like her face is broken up, right? So imagine if her face was 10 inches, then her torso is another 10 inches, then her legs is another 10 inches. So she's 30 inches, definitely seamless, right? But the fact that we want to make it 48 inches is going to be um, a thing. Um, so let's see here. Um, we're going to have to work with some of this, but let's get started. So let's think, first thing is let's ungroup it. Um, and let's start looking at these colors, okay? So let's look at, uh, let's grab the face first. So this one right here. So I, sometimes it's hard to grab things because everything's kind of in the middle. So if you grab the skin over here in the right hand um, side panel and then just hit your arrow key, that will get you to move things over a little bit. Um, and then we'll just move it over. So let's see, those are her fingers legs okay so let's grab a square because everything is um it's not grouped together because we can't ungroup it it's sort of like welded together so we're gonna have to slice things out to make it so that we can cut it on the cricket so let's do let's just pull out her legs first okay so i'm gonna grab the um oops I'm going to, let's go from down here. I'm gonna grab the square and into her legs, so that's two items and slice. So remember when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. And so in our case, it's gonna be the square and her skin. So here, this is not bad. I mean, it's 9.5 by 11.3. I might just keep it together and then add a couple of things here to cut. So. Let's do this next. So you can see my square is over here, but as long as I start my cursor over here and go in and touch the square and touch the skin, then I'm able to slice it. It didn't matter that it was sitting over here, okay? So you just kind of want to um, get to know your slicing like um, features and all the things that make up slicing because it will help in um, later on with your projects now watch i'm going to do this with this arm so this little cutout doesn't matter this sitting over here doesn't matter as long as we come down and only grab the skin and the square so i'm going to slice again so you can slice in traffic it's just you got to make sure that um this piece was 
was completely covered by the square and not a cutout. Okay, so here we go. Um, all right, so let's get this arm in. And I'm going to squeeze it down like that. So the arm is completely covered by a square right here. So I'm going to go this way and grab that and slice. Okay, and let's see how... Okay, so this arm is a... Currently, it says we can't cut it, right? Because it's 12 inches long. I mean, you could cut it if you had a 12 by 24 cardstock, but because it's only 7.5 this way, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit more to see if we can get the dimensions right. So now it's 11.3 by 9.44, so it can cut with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So really design space, what it's looking for when it's looking at its width and height is it's looking at the most far left to the most far right, and that's 11.3 inches. And then the highest point to the lowest point, that's 9.44. So you know you can kind of now rotate. I didn't know that for the longest time. So when I had it at like this, for instance, I would have sliced off like a little bit up here, which was completely unnecessary, right? All right, so let's make sure we get this. Okay, so that dimension is good. All right, so now we have her face. Now, very similar to Snow White, I'm not sure why the designer did, did this, but you see how the face, um, well, first, sorry, I'm just looking at the dimensions. Let's separate out the neck, okay? So I'm gonna um, delete that square for a second. We're gonna use contouring this time because the neck, how it's curved right here, I'm not gonna be able to slice it out cleanly. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this up into two things. I'm gonna break it up the ear, and the face is one and then the neck. So when I want to break this up into two pieces, then I need two copies of it. So I'm gonna make a duplicate copy, put it side by side just so you can see it. And let's hit contour. So on this one, I'm gonna hide all, and actually I want the neck, and then I want to remove the face. So here's my neck all by itself, right? Pretty easy, right? And it's perfect exactly the way it's supposed to be. All right, so on this one, let's go to contour and let's get rid of the neck. We want everything above. Okay, so now this face, what I wanna do is, let's make a copy of this face because you see how the eye is completely enclosed as well as the mouth and the eyebrow? So what I'm doing here is, later when we slice up this black background, if there happens to be a seam running through the eyes or the mouth, I wanna make sure, I wanna get rid of that seam. And the way you do that is we make a copy of it and I'll show you on, I guess I can show you, let's just do it first, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way, but the problem is this eye right here is not enclosed. So that means I won't be able to contour it out. So what I wanna do is let's bring in a, Let's bring in a circle. And I'm just gonna put it right here to kind of close out that seam, okay? So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna weld it. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. It looks like it contours well. All right, so on this one, let's go to contour and let's hide all. And then I'm going to change that to black because now just imagine if there were seams running down the eyes or the eyebrows, this and arrange center to the front so that the face is on top. We're going to do this. So any seams that would have been running through is now seamless, right? So it's perfect. I don't know why it took me so long to do that, but I love that feature. This little ear hanging out by itself. Let me put it back and see what it looks like, okay? Oh, we do need the ear because the ear is up here, I think. All right, so we'll just leave it as is, okay? So now the face is done. We've cleared up any seams that may have been going through there and that's gonna be perfect. Um, you know what, let's, let's separate out the legs so that in case we can save some cardstock, let's do it. So on this one, because it's curved like this, again, we're gonna duplicate and we're gonna contour, okay? So contour, let's get rid of 
the right leg. So here's our left leg by itself. And then on this one, hit contour, and we're going to get rid of the left leg. Oops. No, that's not what I want. I want... Sometimes I can't click on this for some reason. It, it's funky. All right. So there are our legs separated. All right. Let's do the next one. Let's do her hair. So her hair... Um, let's separate it into two pieces, the top bun part and then the bottom, okay? So let's duplicate and go to contour. And I'm gonna, I wanna look at the picture. So easily to get to 100%, just click on the number and I'll take it to 100%. All right, so let's get rid of the bun part and let's see what we have. So this is going to be too big, 13.9 by 12.4. But I think what I want to do is I want to make a deliberate seam. So you see how this is already going up? I'm going to continue it through and separate it into two pieces like her bun. So it's not going to look like um, weird. It's going to look pretty natural. So let's go to text. One of my favorite tricks is to use the font I Love Glitter. If you don't have I Love Glitter, it is free, and you can get it from dafont.com. So that's D-A-F-O-N-T.com, okay? Download it. It's this glyph right here. Um, so this is going to be your square bracket. It's the to the right of the letter P on your keyboard, okay? And look how perfect it is. It is kind of like in the shape of all your hair. Or your skirt so we're going to be using this quite a bit I'm going to make this just a little bit thinner um, okay and I'm going to zoom in so we can really see what we're doing over here okay so here's the hair oops let's do the bottom one because it's already separated all right here we go and I'm going to twist it this way because I want to get it in the same like groove okay so I'm going to do that, make it maybe a little bit, mm, I'm actually going to unlock it and make it thinner. I want to make it thinner to match the width of this, and I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to put it right around here. I'm going to move it over just a little bit more. I think that's good right there. Okay, so we're gonna slice this out, okay? So let's just grab the hair and the glyph and slice. Okay, we're gonna slowly move this out. Okay, so what's left is this yellow. We're gonna click on the yellow, okay? And we're gonna go to contour because what we wanna get rid of is just this. We want the, I sliced into her hair and I want, I want to keep that. So you see that little piece? I want to keep that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two things and I'm going to weld, oops, hold on. I want to make sure I'm only grabbing these two things. Okay. I'm going to weld that back to this piece. Okay. All right. So look at that. I think that looks really good. Okay. So let's back out of this and bring it back over here. I'm going to put this back over here so you can see what that looks like, okay? To me, that looks like a part, a natural part, because I'm just going to pat myself on the back. <laughs> I think that looks like it's part of the original drawing, okay? So now let's get rid of this bottom part. Let's go to contour, and let's click on the 100% and hide all. Oh, I did the opposite. So I want that. No, I want that. I don't want that. And I want these two little guys. Okay. And I'm going to put it back just so we can see it. I mean, that looks pretty good, right? And it's going to be technically seamless because this is not a seam. It's a deliberate part. Okay. So, okay. So let's go over here. Let's bring these two out. So this is 9.6 by 6.6. .6. I like it and I don't really want to deal. Mm, no, let's just keep it. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep it separated like that. I was going to, I'm deliberating. I'm wondering if I should turn this 
these three pieces into one piece by welding a little circle right here, and that will make it, I'm gonna do it, okay. I just don't want so many pieces to deal with, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So right now, this is in three pieces, right? I'm gonna make this circle a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put it right here, even smaller than that, maybe like that. Okay, now I'm gonna grab all four pieces and I'm gonna weld it. So now instead of it being three pieces, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm, I know I'm zooming quite a bit in and out, but I wanna show you what it looks like. I don't think anyone looking at this would think, oh no, wait a minute, why is that so weird? Now it's so much easier. This is now one piece. Um, it'll cut one piece, you only have to tape down one piece. It's so much easier. I think her hair looks really, really natural. Okay, so there is one. Now this, we need to separate into two pieces, right? So we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna go to contour and we're separating out the pieces. So let's separate out. But, um, let's do hide all and see what it does. Okay, it leaves this, but we want the little the little slits in there. So just make sure that you click on that. So here's this piece, which we can cut on the Cricut, right? 8.8 .8 by 9.6. And then now this piece, let's contour out that. Let's hide all. We want this piece, this, and this. We don't want this. And this is 11.6 by 5.9, but let's just turn it a little bit and now it's 10 by 8 okay so now her hair is all done all right let's see what else we have left we have the white okay so let's bring in a square and let's um, slice out some things here let's slice out the eye one by one okay so let's do that oops so let's grab this and slice and I do it this way because I know I'm going to be using glitter cardstock. Glitter cardstock is a little bit more expensive. So I'm doing this so that we can save on our cutting mat that there's not all this empty space, okay? Um, that way we can kind of like move it all up close to each other and um, reuse the scraps, okay? And I'll show you what that Make It screen is going to look like. So now we have this piece. Okay, we have the two little hearts. Let's get rid of the two, not get rid of it, but slice it out, okay? So that's one heart right there. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna slice out this heart over here. And you can see I'm in a lot of traffic, right? Just as long as your mouse is only picking up those pieces, we are golden. I don't know why that heart is sliced like that. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna, oops, hold on. Okay, that little piece for some reason is hanging. So let's go to contour, let's get rid of that piece. So there's the heart there. Let's grab this heart and weld. Oh, it doesn't need to be weld, okay. We're good there. All right, so now this guy is a little bit too long. I'm very tempted to just weld it right or slice it right here and break it up into two pieces. And again, you know what I'm going to say. Let's bring in our handy dandy glyph. Make it bigger so we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, and Sorry, I'm gonna zoom in again so we can see really what we're slicing, okay? So I kinda of wanna continue it right here. Let's make this a little bit thinner, okay? And I'm gonna to need to do this. Let's try to get it in that piece right there. So I'm gonna do Uh, move it up just a little. Uh, let's see over there. That's going to be easier. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to make it perfect. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, so we're going to grab these two things and we're going to slice. Now you see we're slicing into over here. So that's when we're going to contour and we're going to 
I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so when we're contouring this, we really just want to get rid of this piece. This piece we want to weld back, okay? So let's click on it and go to contour. And let's hit 100% so we can see what we're doing. We really just want to get rid of this piece, I think. Mm, and some reason it clicked the wrong one. So we want, you know, what's going on here? Okay, I don't want this piece there. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to grab these two items and we're going to weld it back. Okay, and now we have two pieces. Okay, so let's duplicate that and go to contour and let's hide one piece. So this is 4.8 by 11.14. Perfect. Go to contour. Let's get rid of this one. And this little guy is 6.5 by 4.6. But I mean, really, who's going to know that that did not have that before, right? This is just making our beautiful Cinderella as seamless as possible. And the thing is, she is going to look so adorable with the glitter. And, you know, the, the image itself is so cute. Um, and now no one's going to be distracted by the seams. All right, now... We have the lips. Okay, this blue part is going to be a little bit difficult because we're going to slice up this skirt. So just know it's it's coming. All right. Um, the other thing is in the original Cinderella, her eyes are a darker blue. So let's make sure that it matches. And you know what? I'm just going to make this blue darker right now so that for me it's easier to see. Oh, that's a weird blue. Let's do this blue. Ugh, that looks horrible. But anyway, we, we can see the blue. I know which cardstock I'm going to use. So it's just for me to remember to change her um, eyes to this dark blue. Okay, so let's do the light blue first. Let's see what we have here. So um, we're going to just need to contour, I think, because... These pieces are going to be difficult to separate, but this up here, let's go to shapes and bring in our square and let's slice out everything. Okay. So, um, I forgot to take pictures. <laughs> Sorry. I know my husband, we're, we're trying to create all these tutorials with like pictures too. And I just realized I haven't been taking pictures talking to myself right now. Okay, so we're slicing out. This is, I think, just an earring on one side. Okay, so that earring, let's slice out the eyes. Let's go from this way, because it looks like, okay, so slice, get rid of that. Let's slice out this eye. Okay, and then let's grab these two and let's change it to the darker blue. All right, so that's done. Let's see what we have here. Um, I think I can slice out that. I love that the thing is naturally sliced right there so that we won't have a seam. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Let's get this sleeve out. And let's see, oops, let's slice that. I'm debating welding this here so that we don't have to deal with three separate pieces. Let's see how big it is. So yeah, we can turn this a little bit more. And let's make this one piece. So I'm going to bring in two little circles. And the reason why I like to weld when I can though, is because then I don't have to worry about um, where I'm placing the pieces and is the, you know, is it spaced properly and then also just dealing with the number of pieces. So 
I'm I want to do this okay so we're gonna weld it there and let me sorry I'm gonna zoom in so I can really see what I'm doing here um, and it probably would have been easier if I took in a square but that's okay let's make this smaller So that looks pretty good there. I think this circle needs to be smaller. Let's see what we have. Oh no, it can be bigger. And you can change the shape to do this. I think that looks good. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab and weld. So now we have this, it's, it's easier to deal with. And that's not perfect, but no one knows it's not supposed to be like that. So let's, zoom back out okay so we're good with that all right so all we have left is the dark blue and the black outline okay so we're almost almost there so let's see let's bring in again the square so we can slice out the shoes and the top and then deal with that skirt that we know we're going to need to slice up so let's do this We don't need the slice results, so all that we can just delete, okay? Let's get this shoe out of the way. So here's one shoe. Here's the other shoe. Get rid of this. Okay, now we have this. We can um, put this top up here and slice that out. And let's see how big this top is. Okay, so the top is sizable, but we can cut that. All right, so what we have left is this. Ah, 17.3, that's a big piece. So, I'm doing this just to see how much I actually have to slice. So this is 11, okay, so we're good there. So, Yeah, I feel like I want to slice here and here with the glyph. <laughs> so let's bring that glyph back in. All right, here we go. I'm going to, oops, let's move this down. Come on. Down to our skirt area. And, oh my. Okay, let's make this bigger so I can see it. Um, that looks kind of good. Maybe like right, right there. Okay, so let's do that. Slice. So got that. I don't love that, but that's okay. I I I don't love it. But I also don't think it'll be a problem with our dark. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Ah, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to separate the skirt. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking of making, you only do that when you want like a deliberate cut with a deliberate um, seam in it. That's not what I want. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? Oops, hold on. So let's weld this back together. I want to slice it. What am I... What am I thinking? Okay, I'm gonna bring in a circle because I do want that circular motion. I don't want a straight seam. So I want something like this. Okay. Slice, that's what I wanted to do. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so we are gonna try to make this seamless by pushing it up like this. I just didn't want like a straight line. I felt like a straight line was gonna be more obvious. So this piece is there. Let's do this side over here. And let's see if that's gonna work, okay? We'll know when I piece this together, but I, I feel pretty good about this game plan. So here's the skirt, it's gonna be in three pieces. We're gonna I'm gonna use the dark blue glitter cardstock from Cricut, and I think it's gonna hide the seams really well. And we picked places where it's not that that long to begin with. 
So I think it's going to be pretty seamless. Okay, so now we're done with the blue. All we have left is the black background. Okay, so let's make sure that, let's look at our panel over here on the right hand side, just to see what we have. If I got rid of all my, of all the pieces that I needed to. Okay, good. So everything is good. Let me save my project. <laughs> Um, and hope that it saves Cinderella. Okay, 48 inches. And then all we have left is the black background. Okay, that's, it's, it's not hard. You just need to learn my process. Okay, <laughs> so um, here she is, right? So she is, let's look at the dimensions, 22.5 by 48. That kind of sucks. Okay, that's okay. So we're gonna do 11 by 11 uh, squares, and that is going to get us to, we're gonna do 10 squares. Two rows or two columns, that's gonna only get us to 22 inches, but I think we're gonna be okay. I'll show you how to go about that. And then our rows, we have 48 inches, so each one is 11, so we need five, because we need to get to 55, because 44 is not enough, right? So let's bring in our square, and if you're just like, that was just math junk right there, it may be. I am a math tutor, so that's why. <laughs> um, let's change our dimensions to 11 by 11, because we're using 12 by 12 cardstock. Technically, we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I hate dealing with half inches. So that's why we're going to do 11 inches, okay? So just put it... Sorry. I'm thinking in my head, because look at... No, okay. Let's just do it the way we said we were going to do it, right? 10 squares, okay? So put it anywhere here. We're going to go to our position feature, and we're going to make these whole numbers. So 5.99 is going to round up to 6. 4.2 is going to round down to 4, okay? So what we're doing is we're basically telling design space, go over 6 units, go down 4 units, and that's the beginning of our square. We're going to duplicate it, and we're going to put this one really close to it, okay? And when you put it really close to it, you don't have to do the math. So 17.11 is going to round down to 17. 3.9, we're going to round up to 4. We're basically rounding to the nearest whole number, okay? So it's, I know it's like fourth grade math all over again. So now we have two flush squares. The reason why it's important is because, and they don't look flushed for some reason. Oh, because I didn't change it to four. We want it flushed because when we get these cut pieces off the mat, it's going to be easy to push them up against each other and tape down because we know exactly where it goes, okay? So we don't want any gaps because that's going to suck. <laughs> and we don't want them to overlay, right? We want them perfectly flushed. I can't say that enough. Okay, so now that we worked hard to get these two squares flush, we're just gonna grab the two squares. So grab one, hit the shift key, grab the second one, and we're gonna duplicate. So now we already have a pair of flush squares. We're gonna put it up really close to the first set. And then we're gonna go over here, and six point something is gonna turn into six, 15 point something is gonna turn into 15. So now we have four flush squares. So what are we gonna do? These two are already selected. Hit your shift key, Grab this one and this one. So now we have four flush squares. And you can see over here too, these four are selected. We're just going to duplicate. Move this down to here. And then go up here and change this to six. And it's already at 26, so we're good there. And we only need two more. So I'm just going to select, take my cursor, grab the bottom two and duplicate and send it down here. And let's go up here and change this to 48. So now we have 10 squares completely flushed, okay? See how her arm is sticking out? Go ahead and select the arm. We're gonna go to arrange, send to the front. We're gonna look to see where we're slicing everything, okay? Now here, I'm going to just 
Hmm, I'm just gonna do something like this. Okay, everything looks good. These are all big pieces actually. Maybe I'm gonna do that. So this whole foot is sliced off. Okay, everything looks good. Now, you're probably wondering like, well, but this piece right here. So we're gonna grab this square and this one. Oops, hold on. Um, let me send this to the back real quick. So let's grab the image, arrange, send to the back. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this square and hit the shift key and this square. And we're just going to use our cursor, our arrow key, and move it over, okay? Mm, is it moving over? Okay, it's catching up. Because we wanna make sure that when we're slicing, that this is all sliced well, right? And it's all covered. Okay, so now that's covered. Let's do it with this one to cover this piece right here, okay? So hit the shift key, grab this one, move it over a little bit. Okay, now let's go grab her again. Okay, so let's see, where is she? Scroll over here, select her here, arrange, send to the front, and now let's see where we're slicing, okay? So this is all good. Now this here, um, I'm just gonna move, let's get rid of this. We can move this square over and it will cover both feet. And I'm using my arrow key, it's, slowing down a little bit, but I want to make sure it's still flushed, right, with the top set. I think that's going to fit. Come on, scoot over so we can start slicing, so I can show you what it looks like. Oops, now I went too far. Um, all right, I think we're good there. Okay. So we're ready to slice, I think. Everything is gonna be in big pieces. All right, so now we're slicing the back image because again, she is 48 inches. Obviously we can't cut her on the Cricut as is, but now we're gonna slice her into pieces that we can cut. And then once we take it off the mat, we're gonna tape her all back up together again, just like a puzzle, okay? All right, so let's start from up here. Let's grab two pieces. So it's the image and a square and we're slicing. We're gonna slice all the way around And we're gonna keep going. Now I'm gonna accidentally, um, well, not accidentally, on purpose, I'm gonna grab three pieces to show you what happens when you grab a square, the image, and an extra square. Slicing is not available, okay? So you can only slice two items at one time. If it's not available, it's user error. You picked up too many pieces somewhere, okay? All right, let's grab this. I'm just making our way around it. Oops, hold on, undo. We don't wanna move her. Okay, so let me start from the top. Let's slice, ah, what is going on? Undo. Okay, I'm gonna grab from up here, slice. I'm gonna grab from over here. Oops, where's my cursor? There, grab that, slice. Slice. I think we have all our pieces, so let's double check. Um, I'm gonna start moving her, and I'm gonna keep her in order, okay? Because when I take things off the mat, I have a hard time um, piecing her back together. I bet that's my own thing, but okay. So let's grab all these pieces, we don't need that. Okay, so that's what she looks like so far. This is good. Right, see how this piece right here, hold on. It is still one whole piece. It's gonna look great. We're gonna push it up against each other. Let's get rid of our slice results. Here's that, that, and I probably could have moved, you know what? So let's do this. Let's get rid of all of this. 
we don't need her hair to be sliced right there, right? So let's unslice it by welding. So we're gonna grab the two pieces. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I think we're still okay. Let's weld that. So her hair is gonna be, yep. Her hair will not have a seam, we'll make it black. Okay, so it's gonna cut like this. So there she is, okay? The only thing I would change is maybe this one. Let's bring in a square and let's separate the feet because we may be able to save space on cutting if we don't have that wasted space. So let's put that in there. This is not a big deal. You don't have to do this, but you know, we're cutting a lot of pieces. If we can save one cut, um, it helps. So, okay, so here, all right, so let's save it. I mean, she's gonna look so good. Those seams are gonna be minimal. All right, so save, please. Okay, good, my project was saved. Let's go to make it. So let's see what it looks like, okay? Um, all right, so the white, okay, so one of my images is larger than that. I don't think it is. I think it's just the way we, oh, I didn't move her arm. So we'll work with that, don't worry. All right, so here we go. Click OK. This is our white. We can save by doing this. Right, move. Um, so next time, because I'm going to use white glitter cardstock, next time we can have, you know, um, over five by 12 piece of white scrap, white glitter cardstock that's scrap, but easy to use because it's one big rectangle, right? Okay, so here's this piece. This is her hair, and it's going past the 12 inches, so we don't want that. We want to tilt it a little bit. There. So now this fits. So I like, I always buy the 12 by 24 green mats in bulk when it's, when the bulk is actually even more on sale. So it ends up being like 250 per 12 by 12 technically. So it's the cheapest that you can get for a cutting mat. So what I would do on this is I would use the 12 by 24, put two 12 by 12 black pieces of cardstock on there. Okay. And then I'm gonna move this down and see. All right, so this piece, I'm just seeing if we can move any pieces to save on cardstock. These are all pretty big pieces. So nothing we can do there, but these two little feet, we can move to another page. So move object and let's put that foot over here and click confirm. So now we've moved this foot to this page. Let's move this foot. So what you do is you click on the foot, click on the three dots, hold on, click on the three dots, move object, and we're moving it to another page. We can easily move that to here. There's space there. And now we're good. The only thing is you want to make sure that you move this. You don't want it to be like overlapping, and then you're going to have a a cut right there and you're gonna hate life okay <laughs> all right so our black is good let's look at our skin cardstock so let's move this because I twist it a little bit because I don't have I only have 12 by 12 cardstock okay so she's there let's consolidate some of this and see what else we can move okay like this can be moved up maybe Yes, so then let's move this down and see what we have. Okay, so we have this, which means I think this leg can fit above. So let's click on this, click on the three dots, move object. We're gonna move it to this one. And the face is gonna have to be by itself because the face is pretty big. All right, so let's move this guy down to the bottom. There. So this again will be two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock. It's unfortunate that the face doesn't fit anywhere, but um, I think we're just gonna have to leave it, okay? So it's gonna be three pieces of cardstock and give me just one second. 
Sorry. <laughs> that was my five-year-old telling me that her grandparents are here, my mom and dad, <laughs> feeding her lunch. Okay, let's go to this one. Um, all right, so this one, let's turn. We know we're going to use glitter cardstock. So I only have 12 by 12. Let's see what we can do here. Let's move this down. Um, actually, this one, let's twist this way. Will it fit? Yes. And then... I think instead of three pages of cardstock, we can definitely get this into two. So let's move it like this. Okay, that didn't work. Move it like this. Um, can I move it some more? No. That's gonna be close. Okay, I'm gonna move this girl over this little bun. Let's see if we can get it into two pages, okay? All right, so she's up here. Let's see if we can move this guy back up. Mm. It'll be a shame if it doesn't, oh, it does fit. There we go. So this will be two pieces of cardstock, two 12 by 12, okay. So let's continue. Here's our blue. Now let's move this sleeve over to that other one, move object. Let's move it to this one. And, oh man, are you not gonna fit? Okay, let's move this button. Let's see if we can move that a little bit. Okay, so that fits, but that other sleeve's not gonna fit there, I don't think. Well, we can try, let's click on it. Move object. It'd be really cool if it was one piece of cardstock, right? So, cause it just saves time on cutting also. Oh, it's so close, I don't think I can do anything to get that to fit. No, okay. So let's move the object. Um, let's move it back. But, you know, we can do this. So next time this cart, the scrap piece is one big piece that you can reuse. Okay, so that's our blue. Let's look at this one. This one we can, oh, we can definitely consolidate into two. We can't consolidate into one. But let's get this guy, click on this, move object. Let's move it to this one. And let's move the eye over here. Twist this around. There. Um, just wondering if I should try to move one more piece over, but it's fine. It's two pieces and our last is the lips. Yay! All right, so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to piece it together and we will record it later. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you. Let me know what you think. Tag me if you make this. And lastly, if you have any special requests, just let me know and I'll help you with your project because I think it's really hard to learn how to use design space. And um, it's one thing to take this and apply it. And then another thing to try to like change up and edit your project. And so that's when people run into problems. And so just let me help you. I'll create the tutorial and then you still have to make those changes in your design space. So it's really not enabling, it's, it's really helping. <laughs> All right, bye guys.